crafters, YouTubers. Thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to be making this fantastic card. It is such a wow. This was created by Ingrid Blackburn and it was just so amazing. Totally took my breath away. Check this out. Right? Surprise! <laughs> It is just a fantastic, fantastic card, and I cannot wait to show you how to do it. But I just wanted to say a quick thank you for all of your comments on my last video and on all of my videos. You guys are so amazing. I love you guys. Thanks to all of my subscribers, new and old. If you haven't subscribed yet, you're going to want to hit that little subscribe button and stay tuned to the end for a sneak peek of what's coming up next. You are not going to want to miss it. Let's get started. For starters, all of the measurements and details and information and products on this card are all available on my blog at either this URL, if you're on YouTube you can actually click right here on this video, or you can click in the link in the description below and it will bring you right to this page on my blog. You can also go directly to my blog and click the video button and it will bring you to all of my videos. Okay, this is our card base. I'm going to stamp this before I fold and I'm going to take some of Stampin' Up's grid paper. The reason why I love this grid paper so much is because of the measurements on it. It really comes in handy since I'm stamping before folding. I'm using the Swallowtail Butterfly from Stampin' Up. It's gorgeous, the size of a background stamp. Inking it in soft suede. Our five and a half inch mark is right here. So we want just a tiny little edge of him to go over that five and a half inch. And we do want to make sure that the rest of this butterfly is a hair off the top and a hair off the bottom. Show you why in a sec. Now we'll fold them in half. Bring in our bone folder. Just give that a nice crisp fold. And now, surprise! He's perfect! Yay! Now the reason why we wanted him a little off the top and bottom is because we're actually going to cut this entire edge off. Taking some paper snips and go right tight up against the edge of the butterfly. Isn't that awesome? That's already super cool. Ink up the dictionary stamp using the lightest pink, which is pink pirouette. That goes right on our white panel. Again, measurements are on my blog. Now this is a stamp set I am in love with. Gorgeous grunge. It is like, it, it is the splatter effect. It is so awesome. So we're gonna take a couple of stamps, this one and this one, and I'm gonna show you how to make it look almost like a watercolor splatter effect. Okay, starting with the big speckles, just randomly stamp that towards the right. Most of it's gonna be covered. Now I'm bringing the grid paper in just to show you this. I know sometimes it's hard to see on the grid paper. I'm taking this splatter stamp, stamping off once, and then stamping it. So it's a shade lighter and see-through, and it, it looks like a water splat. Do that a couple of times. Next, I'm going to take some snail and attach this white panel to a blushing bride panel. So this is going to end up on the inside of the card, and we don't want that white to show through. Now to attach that perfectly without any adhesive showing through, I'm going to put the snail on the back side of the butterfly section. Then we're going to lay that on the inside of the card exactly as it will show. And then just fold the card over it. It's like a little illusion where you can't see that in the front and you have a little surprise on the back. It's so cool. But wait, we want to sponge these edges all the way around. Now our greeting came from Sassy Salutations and the beautiful thing about this is that you can swap it out. So you could make this card good for any occasion. And it's a little spunky. I really love the choice. I just made a little banner by just trimming in and sponge the edges of, the, of your banner. And I put that on the lower left hand side. Love it, stamp your greeting on the inside, surprise on the back, so awesome. Thank you, Ingrid. Be sure to visit my blog for tons more daily inspiration for these measurements, and as promised, here's a sneak peek at what's coming up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on this video. Thanks for joining me today.